thousands of people in the United States are struggling with addiction and many of them don't even have insurance. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three ways to get treatment without insurance. So stick around. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but we focus on the solution. So I work at a private drug and alcohol rehab center. So what that means is you need private health insurance to go there. Um, that's through your job, through your spouse, through your parents, through whoever it is. So I get asked a lot, like, how do I get help? I don't have any insurance. And even with state insurance, it can sometimes be difficult. But there are a ton of resources out there that you can use to get the help that you need. So I'm gonna walk through three of the ways that you can get treatment without health insurance. And please, all I ask of you is to share this with people that you know so they know about these resources as well. So the first organization that we're gonna talk about is SAMHSA, okay? This is a government-run organization, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. So this is a great resource center. Not only do they have a bunch of stuff about recent news and research and all that, they have a treatment locator. And with this treatment locator, you can find treatment centers that can help you out even if you don't have insurance. So right now what I'm gonna do is I am going to walk you through how to use this website. Okay, so the first thing I recommend going to Google because for some reason I always think it's Sam Shah, but it's SAMHSA. So what you're gonna do is type in SAMHSA. And more people need to use Google, by the way. All right, so right here, we're gonna click on this link and this is the website. So as you can see, they have news, resources. Uh, looks like they even have free apps right here. That's really cool. So make sure you take a look at those. But anyways, right here on the top right, where it says Behavioral Health Treatment Locator. Click on that, and since I'm in Las Vegas, I'm gonna walk you through how I use it. Also, you can see here they have a national helpline. So it's really easy to use. Enter a starting location. So I'm in Las Vegas, so I'm going to type in Las Vegas. So as you can see, Right here, it's showing me all of the treatment centers here in Las Vegas. And what we're gonna do is you can look through here and this is gonna show you all of the different resources on the right hand side. <clears throat> now, what you can do is in this top part is that you can actually filter it out to find the ones that you need. So they have a section for veteran of veterans affairs, uh, mental health. So if you're watching this and you're struggling with mental health issues, I should do a whole video on this as well. Like that's another issue. If you're struggling with depression, anxiety, PTSD, bipolar, schizophrenia, whatever it is, there are also resources for you even if you don't have insurance. So let's click on substance abuse and then it gives you more um, filters that you can use substance abuse treatment detoxification transitional housing and halfway house those are like sober living facilities accepts clients on opioid medications uh, prescribes administer prescribes and administer uh, <laughs> I always say this wrong basically suboxone and or naltrexone so you can go through and you can play with these filters but what it's going to do is down here it's going to show you no payment accepted cash or self-payment medicaid medicare state financed health insurance plan other than medicaid private health insurance military insurance ihs tribal urban so this has so many resources and look at this like it's talking about sliding scale payment assistance so you can filter this out and find the treatment centers that you need so like let's let's go ahead and let's try this out real quick so let's find ones that take medicare so i click on that and i'll click back here did that work okay cool so what it did was it just showed me two treatment centers here that will show me how to get help if i only have medicare i can go back to this i can select medicaid and boom there's even more resources on there so, like I said, you can filter this out to your specific needs, what you have, what you don't have. Um, 
I will recommend too that you start calling around, let them know your situation and see if they can help. Some of that stuff with sliding scales and payments, they'll be able to help you too. When I personally went to detox, I didn't have health insurance um, and they basically just sent me a bill later, all right? So this is the SAMHSA website. Please use it and share this information with other people. Tip number two, okay? Remember this phone number, 211. Okay, so some of you know about 911, some of you know about 411. 211 is a phone number that you can call that goes straight to your area and you call them up and you let them know what's going on. I'm a drug addict, I'm an alcoholic, I don't have insurance, what can I do? So this is a good resource if you don't have access to a computer or you just don't like using computers and you just wanna call somebody. You call this number and on the other line, they're going to help you find a treatment center that will take you in without insurance. Um, this, this works, it absolutely works. And I have to tell you about one of my good friends who is also now my boss and she did not have insurance and 211 saved her life. She is five years clean from meth and has a super, super uh, inspirational story. And I'm gonna put a link to her podcast below. Anytime that you think that you can't get clean because you don't have insurance and you need to go to a private rehab or, or something like that, listen to this podcast. Like, if you wanna talk about inspiration, my buddy Nicole slash boss will walk you through what she did. And I, I will do a whole video about like, you have to want this thing. Like she talks about in her podcast, spoiler alert, she talks about how she had to call 211 and she was from Southern California and some of these places had waiting lists and you had to call and follow up every day. And she wanted it that bad that she kept calling and kept calling and kept calling and finally she got in. And now she has over five years clean. She's extremely successful. She's my boss, so gotta be pretty successful to do that, right? But she's my boss. She just went back to college. Like, truly inspirational. So anybody out there who's sitting there thinking that you have to have insurance to get treatment to get help, listen to her story very powerful and it will help you so go call 211 and ask them about what treatment you can get without health insurance also share this information with somebody else lastly this is kind of on the fence the third tip is emergency rooms okay this isn't treatment but this is some place that's going to get you stable uh, a lot of people, you know, they want to get clean, they need to get clean. Um, one of the biggest fears that we all deal with, if you're a drug addict or alcoholic like myself, is withdrawal. We are afraid of withdrawal. And an unfortunate reality is there's not enough government funded facilities out there. So some of them will have long wait lists for you to get into treatment. And what I have to tell people is like, just go to the emergency room. and. You know, there, there's these back and forths that I have with people like, I don't have insurance, I don't wanna get the bill, and all this stuff. Like, this is a life or death situation. Put all those excuses to the side, go to the emergency room to detox. If they bill you later, good, because those bills won't matter if you die from this thing anyway, so you might as well just go there and worry about a messed up credit report and all that stuff. For some reason, people are worried about their credit when it comes to getting clean, but we destroy our credit and our addiction. I don't get that logic, but us addicts, were crazy people. So if you need detox, go to an emergency room. They will get you stable and to the point where you can leave and feel okay. And then from there, it's sitting on a waiting list, going to 12-step meetings or whatever you gotta do. As my beautiful mother says, hold on to your butt cheeks, okay? But never discount the fact that you can go to an emergency room and they will help you through withdrawal. You need to have medical attention during this process because there are too many people who die from cardiac arrest, fatal seizures and all that because they do not have medical attention as they go through withdrawal. But this is a way to get started and then transition into a treatment program or 12-step programs. Something I'll go into more in another uh, video is that I never went to a treatment facility. I did not go, okay? All I had was medical attention to make sure I went through withdrawal, okay? And then I got clean and I've been clean over five years now too. So. Although this video is about three ways that you can get help without insurance, I do wanna make it very clear that I am living proof that you do not need treatment 
in order to get clean. But I will tell you, if I had the option to go to treatment, I would have, but I personally didn't because I didn't have health insurance. So thank you for watching. I hope this gave you some information that you can use for yourself. If not, please, 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 I beg of you to share this. We need to share this with as many people as possible because so many people do not realize that these resources are out there and they can get clean even if they don't have health insurance. So please share this with somebody you know or somebody who knows somebody who needs help. Share this video with them, all right? But as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there are other topics that you want me to go over, leave them in the comments below. I love answering these questions to provide you with more resources. But if you haven't yet, if you're new here, click right below this box, the little round picture of my lovely face. That is the subscribe button. And that way, anytime I make one of these new videos about addiction, mental health, or anything else going on up here, you'll be the first to get notified. So thanks for watching. This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, and I'll see you next time.